another phase of what I also saw again is another phase of what is happening in the southern eastern part of Nigeria. Lord said Nigeria should find a way to have what's called a dialogue. To dialogue their internal problem. If they decide to go through the, the true federalizing, let them go. If they decide to do it, remember last year I told you, I said, when time shall come, people will be talking about federalism. People were talking about so many things. People were talking about restructure. People were talking about reform and many things. You are hearing them now. You are hearing them now. But the issue of invention that Nigeria planned to now enter into what's called to invade the Biafra land is never the best for Nigeria. It's never the best for Nigeria. Instead of going forward to now invade the Biafra land, it's not the best for Nigeria. The best for Nigeria is what's called a dialogue. A dialogue that everybody is going to sit together, discuss together, agree together, and also come together and then discuss the way forward. Because even though people may not agree, but let me tell you the truth. When we are more, we are more powerful. When we are more, we are more blessed. When we are more, we are more rich. But when we are few, we are fewer and we cannot be powerful. We cannot be great. We cannot be more powerful than anything. But if we are much and there's a sabotage, and there's a sabotage, and there's what's called, what's called, what's called corruption, and there's what's called setback, and there's what's called different things, then we can go nowhere and people will choose to be few and also be accountable and also be what's called a people and being what's called a few but few in sincerity becomes the best because the life we are is what you put in that's what you are going to look up to take out garbage in garbage out taking the best and getting the best because it shall come to pass in the realm of the spirit that even the Biafra people that are looked at as nobody shall arise, shall emerge, shall come out, shall stand, shall be famed, shall be known, shall be identified, shall be agreed with, and they shall come to pass like that. And the same thing, all the ethnic group, especially people like Biafra, people like Odua, people like Arewa, everybody is going to stand tall and be strong. That if it's going to be what's called through federalism, it's going to be. If it's going to be people on their own, it's going to be. So let us not shy away from our internal problem. Let us now embrace the problem and look at it holistically and also get all the stakeholders involved and look at the way forward. Crucify, crucify is not the best. I'm speaking as a prophet and by the grace of God, a prophet is the man that God will use to give you the message and give you the news so that you can do the right thing that needed to be done because whatever we make our bed that's why we are going to lie on it we'll make our bed the bed of rosary we'll lie on it we'll make our bed the bed of water we'll lie on it anyhow we'll make our bed that's how we are going to lie on that bed so i want to adjure you and i want to applaud you to down do your best let's see a way that everybody can come into what's called togetherness and dialogue of the way forward because a lot are already conceived in the realm of the spirit pray for europe and pray for the western nations of the world because what they are trying to bring on the face of the earth no country of the world will find it easy for this sake, for this reason, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the, the, the seaways, the Red Sea, and all the areas and routes of businesses will be shut down. Be shut down. If we have people who are diplomats that knows how to intervene in cases, they should continue to intervene in the cases of the, all these rumors of war here and there. Because this coming together of different, different countries of the world, coming together to now discuss a way of war, 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 is not the best. It's never the best. What is the best is peace. Peace must be the best. Peace must reign. Peace must be at the highest level. When peace reigns, when peace is at the highest level, everybody will be happier, happier than ever. Please share this broadcast immediately. Wherever you are, share the broadcast, share this broadcast. Copy it and share. 
share it to your loved ones share it to your friends share it as many times as possible because somebody must hear this prophecy and somebody must do the right thing quickly quickly copy the prophecy and share share it everywhere let all the platform have it send it on your whatsapp send it on your facebook share it on your youtube share it everywhere let the people see what the lord has revealed so that the right prayer and the right thing can be done before what i saw begin to unfold we must do everything possible to continue to be who god wants us to be we must not be who the world wants us to be we must not be who the countries of the world has fashioned us to be but we must be what god wants us to be the will of god any should not perish but all should come to repentance that is the will of god and so and the name of god will be praised forever and ever so pray for america pray for western world pray for nigeria and pray for the people in this part of the world that god should take absolute control
favor you, the Lord grant your desire. The Lord continue to open the door for you. Every area of your life that you need God's establishment in your life. I sit here in the prophetic seat to prophesy to you that is watching me. I don't know the area you need establishment. I pray for you that the Lord will establish you. The Lord will set to you. The Lord will grant all your desire. The Lord will make a way for you where there's no way. The Lord who has established glorious amount of possibility and has given us the grace and was celebrated 11 years of his divine heavenly establishment. So shall the Lord locate you. You cannot be following the major prophet of God and your life remain the same. Let there be total turn around in your business, total turn around in your job. Every case that you have, somebody is watching me right now. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit. The case you have with the country, with the country where you are, there's a case that you have with the country where you are. The Lord said, This case is going to set to this year. Whether the devil like it or not, the enemy like it or not, they have to pay you your damages, they have to pay you whatever is accrued to you. That case. It's going to end in your favor. The same way I'm speaking to somebody watching me from wherever you're watching me, the Lord said, this case cannot linger. This case will be settled. This case will be settled in the name of Jesus Christ. And you are there, you are trusting God for your document. You are trusting God for your visa document, your document, your state document, your green card. The Lord said, I shall fingerprint and mark it excellent for you and declare it, give it to you and sign the paper for you and prophetically sign that paper that they should give you your visa they should give you your stay they should give you your document in the name of Jesus you did not follow the major prophet of God in vain, you follow me because I follow Christ and when you follow me I follow Christ, we will enjoy the blessings of Christ, because you follow me, the Lord will surprise you you that want to start up a business, you have some money in your hand and you are thinking of the business you want to start. You don't know how to start the business. You are still confused. You are still trying to you know, find a way where you can use that money to invest in the business. I pray for you, you will not make mistake. My prayer for you is that you will not make mistake. You will not lose your money. You will not go into something that will lose your money. Therefore, the Lord speak to your heart, stand with you, give you the grace to protect you to guide you, to make a way for you where there's no way. 
and get you properly established in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord get you properly established. The establishment prayer is still going on in this church. Wherever you are watching me online, get ready for your own establishment. Get ready for your settlement. Get ready that God want to settle you. God want to establish you. God want to give you the best in life. God want to scatter every projection of the enemy. God want to fight a spiritual battle on your behalf. And God want to put into your hand the marital settlement, the marriage settlement. And every single thing that you have asked of the Lord is already your portion in the name of Jesus. You that is complaining of body ache, pain in your body, I stretch the hand of the Lord to touch that part of your body that you are having pains, that sickness in your body vanish disappear that sickness disappear that pain disappear whatever it is that trouble your body the lord bring total healing to you the lord bring total deliverance to you the lord bring total liberation for you rakato sofradi kapata rapata kosofradi kata mesto shakalapa rafato shikapa i prophesy receive your divine healing receive your divine healing receive your divine healing receive your divine healing receive your divine blessing whatever it is you are asking of the lord and they say believe the lord thy god you shall be established believe the prophet you will prosper because you believe the lord let the lord establish you because you believe the prophet let the lord prosper you i decree and declare prosperity for you in every ramification in the place of business in the place of your job in everything that thou find that i had to do it is establishment period let the lord establish you let the lord settle you let the lord grant you your desire let the lord give you what is beyond your imagination and I'm using this medium to pray for all the partners, especially you that is always surprising the major prophet of God. You that always surprise me. You surprise me with your gift towards the house of God. You surprise me with your seed towards the house of God. I did not ask you, but you saw that the work of God is going on and you sown a seed to the building of God's house. I prophesy in your life, before you will see any matter in your life, God would have solved it. Before you will think of building a house, God would have built that house for you. Before you will think of whatever you want to do, God will do it for you. To surprise you too. To give you the highest surprise of your life. Because no man can outgive God. Whatever you give because of the gospel must surely come back to you in billion folds. Beyond your thinking. Beyond your imagination. You that surprise the prophet. God will surprise you with your gift that you have given to the work of God, with your seed towards the work of God. God is bringing them back to you spiritually and physically. And because you taught it wise and you damn it fit to support the work of God, let the Lord support the work of your hand, the Lord support your marriage, the Lord support your children, the Lord support your business, the Lord support your job, the Lord support everything that you are doing. And let the Lord establish you, let the Lord settle you, let the Lord grant you all your desire. Let the Lord fail stand you proper in your business in the name of Jesus I want to use this medium to say thank you to all of the people who are supporting the work you can see the house of God has been beautified and some of you who are still yet who are yet to support or yet to support towards the building of God's house the they, 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 they giving is still available the account number is still here use it to continue to support what the lord has laid down for me and you you have seen the transformation that has come upon the mount of possibility church it did not come by my own strength it come by the collective effort of every one of us so you that have not done anything the door is still open and the channel is still open and the account number is still the naira account is still here so that you can now be the instrument that God will use and build his house and nobody can build for God and God not build for the person remember major prophet is not asking you to give me to eat or come and sow seed and be multiplied and become a billionaire major prophet is only talking about the gospel the giving you are giving must actually be for the building of God's house and the gospel of God so every single thing you have done in this very commission heaven will surely return back to you so let them have the narrow account for those who want to support the work of God let the Lord continue to use it to now bless you use it to now 
enlarge your course use it to now establish you the prayer is that god will establish you and you will prosper because you believe in god establishment follows and you believe in the prophet and the prosperity follows it will be so and be so forever and ever in the name of jesus christ so the lord bless you and the lord favor you the lord be with you and the lord give you grace and i said to you that day and night your prayer will never cease on this altar prayer that will count you prayer that will mention your name prayer that will handle your issues prayer that will handle your job prayer that will handle your health prayer that will handle things in your life will never cease on this altar i'll cut you to pray i'll cut you to stand in the gap until the blessings of god has come upon you and completely overtake you you partners you builders you supporters of the work of god you evangelism people that are financially evangelizing the gospel for the lord the lord will shock you with a surprise in jesus name i cover you with the blood of jesus you will not know sickness i cover you with blood of jesus you will never know pain i cover you with blood of jesus that spirit of that of bad dreams coming to you is cancelled and when you are on the road driving the lord protect you and guide you and take away from you accident take away from you delay take away from you all pains take away from you whatever that you want to make you cry and let the lord continue to put laughter in your mouth all the days of your life in jesus mighty name i pray Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, I remain your prophet, prophet Dr. David Kingo Elijah, the major prophet of God that God is using to speak to the whole world. And what God is doing in this dispensation is a thing that will marvel the world because the Lord is God and he knows how to help his people and bless his people. Thank you for watching. I remain your prophet. God bless you. The Lord has done it all. Nothing remains. The Lord has done it all. Nothing remains. The Lord has done it all, not to